Yes, you. <laughs> What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Sea World Productions, y'all. It is a big day. First this morning, we got the exclusive final trailer for Black Widow, and boy, oh boy, it did not disappoint. It got me super pumped for that film. But in this video, we're going to be talking about what Vin Diesel dropped in his interview while promoting his film Bloodshot, which comes out this week. Which I have to get my tickets because I didn't get my tickets yet. Oh shit! Now that I think about that, got to get on that. Um, but. Vin Diesel dropped a huge bomb saying that the Guardians of the Galaxy will appear in Thor, Love, and Thunder. Now, this makes all kinds of sense because if you remember at the end of Avengers Endgame, you saw Thor, or a Thor aboard the ship of the Milano with the rest, in, the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So, we all kind of had kind of hinted that, you know, we might see some of the Guardians in the next Thor movie, but we didn't really know. Vin Diesel damn near spoiled that in that interview. And I, I am super hyped. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians 1 and 2, especially that first Guardians film. It is so good. But I'm what I'm more particularly very excited about that if the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in Thor, Love, and Thunder, they're going to be directed by Taika. And we all know how crazy and how awesome Taika is. I cannot wait to see the Guardians of the Galaxy under the wing of Taika Waititi. Not saying that James Gunn did a horrible job. I love what James Gunn did with his Guardians of the Galaxy. But to have them under Taika, I feel like it's going to be so fucking cool. And I'm so pumped for that. Um, but, I'm, yo, man, real talk, Thor Love and Thunder is shaping up to be a heavy hitter. Like, a real heavy hitter. What do we know about the film thus far? Well, the release date is November 5th of 2021. The Guardians of the Galaxy will appear. And Vin Diesel also did kind of hint at Alpha Groot. Now, what is an Alpha Groot? I have no idea. But we've already have what, four, hmm, three iterations of Groot in the MCU, you know, this far. We've had, you know, the adult version of Groot, then we had baby version, then we had the adolescents, the teen version of Groot. Alpha Groot. Now, is this like some kind of iteration of King Groot that, that we've seen in some iterations of the comic books where he's just fucking ginormous? That would be pretty interesting. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, my favorite iteration of Groot so far has been in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I like adult Groot. I really do. You know, the baby Groot was cute and all, but all right. You know, teen Groot was all right. But my favorite iteration so far has always been the adult Groot. But if we're going to go beyond that and we're going to do like an alpha Groot like he teased, that's going to be pretty interesting. And I'm curious to see what that means. Alpha Groot. And I kind of would like some more history, some more backstory on the Groot. Like, will we see more of the Groot? Groot kind of reminds me of Chewbacca. You know what I'm saying? Because we never, like, watching the original Star Wars films, we're like, oh, well, where's Chewie from? And things like that. Like, we only get, ever get to see, you know, one out of the Wookiees, and that's Chewie. You know, we, we, we want more backstory. And yeah, you got a little bit of in the prequels and, you know, the solo film. But I feel like, you know, with Groot, we... we well, especially me, I want to know more history and more backstory on this character. So I'm curious to see what that that means. Alpha Groot. Vin Diesel probably already knows. He knows everything already. Um, the return of Jane Foster is going to be Thor, you know, in Thor Love and Thunder. Um, Christian Bale is going to be the main villain in the film. Then you have Valkyrie's obviously going to be King of Asgard. And Taika's writing and directing. So Guardians of the Galaxy going to be in Thor. Thor, Love, and Thunder. That sounds, like, really fun to me. Like, it really does. It this, it seems like it's going to be, like, a, a huge cosmic movie. When we're talking, you know, the, the, the Asgardians and, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, you'll have Drax, you'll have Mantis, you'll have Groot, you'll have Rocket and Star-Lord. As of Gamora? No idea. But I feel like with the Guardians 3 film, they will explore that a little more in trying to figure out where Gamora is in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, keep this in mind. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was supposed to come out way before Thor Love and Thunder. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was supposed to come out this year. But with the whole Disney fire and James Gunn situation and him going over to direct the Suicide Squad, it put a halt on that film. And obviously, they rehired him and he's going to come out and close out that trilogy for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um... Y'all, I'm super pumped. Super pumped. I really liked Chris Hemsworth and his his chemistry with the Guardians of the Galaxy. The time we got to see him in Thor, um, I mean, Avengers: Infinity War. I feel like it was it was really funny. Um, and I'm curious to see where they're gonna take the story and you know what's really gonna happen in this fucking movie, man. I, God damn, like Thor: Love and Thunder. It's it's turning out to be pretty wacky, if you ask me. 
like the, the idea of having the the guardians tag along along with you know thor and valkyrie jane foster as thor like that's already that team that ensemble is already a pretty powerful team and i'm curious to see what villain is going to be like what who's good like i already know christian bell right he's going to be the main villain but who is he going to be like he's got to be pretty fucking strong i mean compared to that ensemble that they already have in this film right but y'all i am hyped i'm super pumped Guardians of the Galaxy will appear in Thor Love and Thunder, which hits theaters November 5th, 2021. You guys, they start shooting sometime this year. Don't know when, but I heard they will be shooting in Australia. And I'm hella hyped. Cannot wait to see Taika direct this core group of characters. You know he's going to give you something funny. You know he's going to give you something heartfelt. And you know he's going to expand on the universe and these, these great characters that Marvel Cinematic Universe has. And I cannot wait. But push your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Guardians of the Galaxy appearing in Thor, Love, and Thunder. And what do you think Alpha Groot is that Vin Diesel is teasing? Push your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time every day for watching Zero Productions. Peace.